Alright, so welcome to the ARA path for the most longest and tedious path of the um, ARA, ARA Explorable Mode Dungeon and also possibly, in my opinion, the longest dungeon in the game. Now before you do anything, I would recommend you to check on your food and your potion to make sure that you have enough uh, enough of them so that you can buff up your attack and defense uh, to do the dungeon uh, faster. And if you have any of your teammates, by teammate I mean like if you have any of your friends, feel free to invite them. Or if you have any of your guild uh, members that want to run this one as well, uh, just make sure that you invite them. Because this one can be very long and can be very tedious. And I would try not to run with a uh, public member because some of the, um, because it's, it is a long dungeon, like I already said. Uh, so some people might not have enough patience to do this so it would be better for you to run with the people that you know that not that is not gonna ditch the group halfway through so make sure that you have a good group be, uh, and tell everybody to be very very patient with this because this can be very long and it can be very tedious now on average it would take about an hour and a half for an organized group to finish this one uh, at least that's what I did anyway because um, yeah like I say it can be very long so uh, that's it with the introduction stuff I will come back and talk about some of the, um, the boss encounter and other stuff that you need to know in the, um, in the later part of the video so I will just leave the video running for now and I will see you in a bit Target identified. <laughs> First boss of the ARA Explorable Mode Dungeon, Path 4. Uh, all you need to do is to have a ranged weapon ready because the first boss is extremely easy. Uh, and all you need to do is to dodge the AoE attack and also hit whirlwind attack. He he would deal a lot of damage if you come close to him, so I would not recommend you to uh, use your uh, melee weapon to deal damage to him. I would recommend you to stay from afar and just use a range attack because it's so much safer to do so. And that's it for this boss. I will see you in a bit for the second boss. <laughs> Six. 
betrays me. This looks interesting. No. Just the greatest treasure. I could outrun a centaur. This should get the supplies flowing. Gaining adrenaline! Alright, so for the second encounter, all you need to do is just stack behind a wall and then after that everybody use ranged weapon to deal damage to the boss so far. Now if you see any tree popping up around the group, all you need to do is to have one person in charge of killing the tree. Or if you see any mobs coming up after the group, all you need to do is again kill them ASAP. And um, that's pretty much for this one. Mm, it's extremely easy so I don't see any uh, you're gonna have any uh, problem dealing with it so just be careful uh, kill the tree ASAP, kill the mobs ASAP and deal damage to the boss on fire and you are good to go so I will leave the video running uh, again and I will come back and talk about um, the next encounter Yeah. 
for great justice. <laughs>
is a good monstrosity. <laughs>
This corrupted spawn of Zaita and sad Malak. Let me recover the bloodstone shell. Do they seek to consume our bloodstones? Or to corrupt it? I can make another. Eat my dust!
Good. <laughs> 